Hi there, what kind of food do you enjoy the most? Oh, definitely pizza. How about you? I'm a big fan of juicy burgers. Do you like them too? Absolutely. I love burgers with melted cheese. And adding some crispy bacon makes them even better. That sounds incredibly delicious, but also quite heavy. Speaking of sweets, what's your go-to dessert? Chocolate cake is my absolute favorite. The rich, gooey chocolate just melts in your mouth. How about you? I can never resist a scoop of vanilla ice cream. There's something comforting about its creamy texture. Oh, vanilla is classic. Have you ever tried it with hot fudge on top? It's an amazing combination. You're making me crave it now. How about we grab some ice cream tomorrow, perhaps after lunch? Sounds like a plan. I'm looking forward to it already. By the way, do you enjoy cooking as well? Yes, I do. One of my favorite dishes to make is spaghetti. It's simple and always satisfying. What about you? I'm all about scrambled eggs. They're quick to prepare and great for breakfast or even a quick dinner. Breakfast for dinner, interesting choice. What about healthy eating? Do you focus on that? Definitely. I try to balance things out with salads and fresh fruits. How about you? Do you like vegetables? Veggies are a must for me too. They add color and nutrients to every meal. Speaking of special dishes, do you have any favorites? Tacos are my weekend treat. I love the mix of flavors and toppings. How about you? Any special favorites? Sundays are curry days for me. I enjoy a nice, aromatic curry with rice. Not too spicy though, just enough flavor. Curries can be so comforting. By the way, do you enjoy spicy food in general? I do like a little spice, but not too much. A mild kick adds excitement to the flavors. How about you? I'm not a big fan of very spicy food, but I can handle some heat. Let's talk about drinks. What's your beverage of choice with meals? I usually stick with water. It's refreshing and keeps me hydrated. How about you? Do you have a favorite drink? Cold soda is my guilty pleasure. There's something about the fizzy sweetness that I enjoy with a meal. I enjoy soda occasionally too, but water is a healthier choice. Are there any foods you don't like at all? Mushrooms are a definite no for me. The texture is just too strange. How about you? Any strong dislikes? I'm not a fan of olives. The taste is too overpowering for my liking. By the way, do you have any food allergies? Luckily, no allergies here. I can enjoy a wide variety of foods. How about you? Any allergies to be cautious about? I'm allergic to fish. Even a small amount can make me sneeze like crazy. Food allergies can be quite tricky. That must be challenging. On a different note, do you have any special memories associated with certain foods? Definitely. My grandmother's apple pie is a cherished memory. The smell and taste take me back to my childhood. How about you? Family barbecues are my favorite memories. The sizzling sounds and the smell of grilled food create unforgettable moments. Food has a way of connecting us to our past and our loved ones. It's like a universal language that brings people together.
You're absolutely right. Exploring new foods is like discovering new languages. Have you tried any exotic cuisines? I've been curious about sushi. Raw fish sounds strange, but people say it's amazing. How about you? Any exotic foods on your list? Sushi is intriguing indeed. I'm open to trying it someday. Speaking of your country, what are some traditional dishes you enjoy? Noodles are a staple in my country. There are countless ways to prepare them, and they're loved by everyone. What about your country? Tacos are pretty popular where I'm from. They're versatile, and you can fill them with all sorts of tasty ingredients. How about your country's cuisine? Noodles are comfort food, no matter where you are. They're versatile too. I love how food brings cultures closer together. Absolutely, food is a bridge between cultures. It's a wonderful way to learn about and appreciate each other's backgrounds. Balanced eating is important for our well-being. Do you believe in moderation in your diet? Definitely, moderation is key. Enjoying a variety of foods in reasonable portions keeps us healthy and satisfied. Bananas are my go-to fruit for breakfast. They're easy to eat and provide a good energy boost. On the topic of breakfast, do you enjoy cooking a morning meal from time to time? I actually enjoy making scrambled eggs occasionally. They're simple yet delicious. How about you? Do you have any breakfast specialties you cook? I do enjoy making pancakes on weekends sometimes. It's a nice treat, especially when topped with maple syrup. Speaking of pancakes, do you like having them for breakfast? Pancakes are a favorite of mine too. I usually have them as part of a special brunch. Do you ever opt for oatmeal as a breakfast choice? Absolutely, oatmeal is a great option. I find it quite filling and comforting, especially on colder mornings. What do you usually add to your oatmeal? I usually add some berries or a drizzle of honey to my oatmeal. It adds a nice touch of flavor and sweetness. What about you? Any toppings or additions? Nuts and honey are my preferred oatmeal toppings. They give it some crunch and extra flavor. By the way, do you ever find yourself skipping breakfast? No, I always make sure to have breakfast. It sets the tone for the day. How about you? Do you think breakfast is important? I agree, breakfast is essential for me too. It provides the energy needed to start the day. Are there any mornings when you're in a rush and can't have breakfast? I try my best to make time for breakfast, but there are rare occasions when I have to rush and can't enjoy a proper meal. How about you? I also try to make time, but work commitments sometimes lead to quick breakfasts or even breakfast meetings. Speaking of morning routines, do you follow any specific routine after breakfast? After breakfast, I usually take a morning walk to get some fresh air and light exercise. How about you? What's your routine like? I like to catch up on the news after breakfast. I usually read the morning headlines or listen to the radio for updates. On the topic of morning routines, are you a morning person? I wouldn't say I'm a morning person, but I'm working on becoming one. How about you? Are you naturally inclined towards mornings? I'm not naturally inclined towards mornings either, but I'm gradually adapting. By the way, do you use an alarm clock to wake up? Yes, I rely on an alarm clock to wake me up in the mornings. It's a necessary tool. How about you? Do you set an alarm? 
Absolutely, I can't do without an alarm either. It's a reliable way to ensure I wake up on time. Are your mornings usually busy? Mornings tend to be quite busy for me, especially with classes to attend. How about you? Do you have a busy morning schedule? Work keeps me occupied during mornings, so they can get quite busy too. Is breakfast the only meal you plan in advance? I usually plan dinners in advance as well. Breakfast tends to be more flexible for me. How about you? Do you plan your meals ahead of time? I'm quite spontaneous with meals, so I don't usually plan ahead. As for breakfast, do you find it challenging to have a proper meal on days when you have early meetings or commitments? Yes, it can be a challenge on such days, but I try my best to grab something quick and nutritious. How about you? Do you have strategies for managing breakfast on busy mornings? I face the same challenge, but I usually go for a banana or a granola bar as a quick option on those days. It's better than skipping breakfast entirely. Speaking of which, do you ever have breakfast meetings? Yes, I've had breakfast meetings for work. They're a bit different from regular meals, but they can be productive. How about you? Have you experienced breakfast meetings? Breakfast meetings are quite common in my line of work. It's a unique way to discuss matters while starting the day with some food. Lastly, do you ever enjoy having breakfast foods for dinner? Absolutely, I sometimes have breakfast foods for dinner. It's a fun change of pace. How about you? Do you ever opt for breakfast items in the evening? I'm a fan of having breakfast for dinner occasionally too. It adds a bit of excitement to the evening meal. What's your usual lunch like? What kind of food do you usually eat during lunchtime? Well, I usually bring my own lunch to work. I prepare it at home and then I bring it with me to eat during my break. How about you? I usually buy my lunch from places around here. One of my favorite things to eat for lunch is sandwiches. I like that there are different kinds of sandwiches with different ingredients to choose from. How about you? Do you make your own sandwiches? Sandwiches are convenient and tasty, aren't they? As for me, I enjoy having salads for lunch. I put together a mixture of fresh vegetables like lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers, along with some cooked chicken. It makes for a healthy and delicious meal. How about you? Do you have any favorite vegetables that you like to put in your sandwiches? Your salad sounds really good. I do like lettuce in my sandwiches sometimes, but I also enjoy having potato chips with them. They're crunchy and add a nice flavor. Speaking of snacks, do you have any snacks with your lunch? Oh, that's interesting. For me, I like to have a piece of fruit, like an apple or a banana, as a snack. It adds a touch of sweetness to my meal. And I always have a bottle of water to drink. How about you? What do you like to drink with your lunch? I often have a can of soda with my lunch. I know it's not the healthiest choice, but I like the taste. As for dessert, do you have any sweet treats after lunch? I understand, sometimes soda is really refreshing. After lunch, I usually enjoy a small piece of dark chocolate. It satisfies my craving for something sweet without being too much. By the way, where do you usually eat your lunch? At work, we have a cafeteria where I get my lunch. It's a place where you can buy food and eat it there. It's convenient because I don't have to prepare my lunch at home. How about you? Where do you usually have your lunch break? 
I usually eat my lunch in the break room at work. It's a place where employees can go to take a break and eat their lunch. I like it because I can relax and chat with my coworkers while eating. Do you have any foods that you don't like to eat? I'm not a big fan of onions. They have a strong taste that I don't really enjoy. What about you? Are there any foods that you don't like to eat? I don't really like olives. They have a unique flavor that I don't find very appealing. By the way, do you have any special foods that you like to eat on particular days? On Fridays, I often treat myself to a slice of pizza. It's like a little reward for getting through the week. How about you? Do you have any specific days when you enjoy a special meal? Fridays are special for me too. I like to have sushi on Fridays. It's a kind of food that I really enjoy and it adds a bit of excitement to the end of the week. Do you ever make your lunch at home? Occasionally, on weekends, I make my lunch at home. It's nice to have control over what I'm eating and it can be fun to put together my own meal. How about you? Do you make your lunch at home sometimes? Yes, I do that too. Making my lunch at home helps me save money and it allows me to choose the ingredients that I like. Do you like cooking your own lunch? I don't do it very often, to be honest. But when I do, it's enjoyable. It's a way to be creative and make something that I like to eat. Do you have special ways you eat together with your family regularly? Yes, we do. We have dinner together every evening. It's a time when we all sit down at the table and eat at the same time. That sounds nice. What time do you usually eat? Around 7 in the evening. It's a time that works for everyone in the family. How about your family? When do you usually have dinner? We usually have dinner at 6.30. It's a time that allows us to relax after a day's work or activities and come together for a meal. When you have dinner, what kind of food do you usually eat? For dinner, we usually have meals that my mum prepares at home. We like having a mix of different foods, like vegetables, meat and grains. It's important for us to have a balanced meal that's also tasty. What about your family's dinner meals? Similar here. We also have homemade dinners most of the time. We like having foods that give us energy, like proteins from meat and vegetables. It helps us stay strong and healthy. Do you have any favorite dishes that you enjoy having for dinner? Yes. On Sundays, we usually have roast chicken. It's a special dish that we all like. The chicken is cooked in the oven until it's nice and crispy on the outside, and it's really delicious. How about your family? Are there any special foods that you like for dinner? We have a tradition of having pizza on Fridays. It's a fun and easy meal to make, and we all enjoy it. We get to choose our own toppings, so everyone gets to have their favorite flavors. When it's time for dessert after dinner, what do you usually have? After dinner, we like having something light for dessert. It could be fresh fruit like apples or bananas, or sometimes we have yogurt with a bit of honey. And in your family, what do you enjoy as a dessert after dinner? Sometimes we have ice cream for dessert. It's a sweet and cold treat that we all like, especially on warm days. When you eat dinner together as a family, do you think it's important? Yes, I think it's really important. When we sit together for dinner, we can talk and share things that happen during the day. It's a time when we connect and show that we care about each other. How about your family? What do you think about eating together? 
I agree with you. Eating together as a family is special. We can talk about our day, share stories, and just enjoy being together. It's a time when we don't have any distractions and we can focus on each other. Who usually cooks dinner in your family? My mum usually does the cooking for dinner. She's a good cook and she makes sure we have tasty and healthy meals. How about your family? Who takes care of making dinner? In my family, we take turns cooking. Sometimes my mom cooks, sometimes my dad, and sometimes even my siblings and I help out. It's a fun way for us to learn how to make different dishes. Do you have any interesting conversations that happen while you're preparing dinner? Yes, while my mom is cooking, we all gather in the kitchen and talk about our day. We share what we did and how we felt. It's a time when we can chat and be together. How about your family? Do you have any interesting talks in the kitchen? Absolutely. We talk about a lot of things while we're cooking. We discuss what happened during the day, any plans we have, and sometimes we even share jokes and funny stories. What are your family's dinner traditions like during holidays? During holidays, our family dinners become bigger and more festive. We invite extended family members over, and we cook special foods to celebrate. It's a time of joy and togetherness. How about your family's holiday dinners? During holidays, we often have BBQs or potlucks. Everyone brings a dish to share, and we all enjoy different kinds of foods together. It's a time for celebration and good food. Do these special dinners lead to nice conversations? Definitely. During holiday dinners, we sit together for a longer time, and we talk about a lot of things. We share memories, stories, and enjoy each other's company. How about your family? Do you have good conversations during holiday dinners? Yes, exactly. We have meaningful conversations, share stories, and make lasting memories. It's a time when we appreciate each other's company and show our love and care. Lastly, do you have any food allergies or things you don't like that affect your family's dinner choices? Fortunately, we don't have any food allergies, but some family members aren't fond of seafood. So, we make sure to have alternative options for them. How about your family? Are there any foods that you avoid or can't eat? I have a nut allergy, so we're careful to avoid nuts in our meals. And some family members prefer vegetarian options, so we make sure to have those available too. On a final note, how does it feel to share a meal with your family? It feels really nice. Sitting together, enjoying good food, and talking make us feel closer. It's a time when we can all be ourselves and enjoy each other's company. Do you have a liking for fruits and vegetables? I think they're both tasty and good for us. Yes, I definitely enjoy them. They offer a delicious and healthy way to nourish our bodies. Absolutely. When it comes to fruits, which one is your favorite? For me, I have a soft spot for apples. The crunch and sweetness are quite satisfying. I can relate to that. Apples are a classic choice, and I find their texture really enjoyable too. On the vegetable side, I have a preference for carrots. Their crispness and slightly sweet taste appeal to me. Carrots are a fantastic choice. I like how they're not only tasty but also packed with nutrients. Aside from apples and carrots, are there any other fruits or vegetables that you particularly favor? Definitely. Another vegetable I like is broccoli. It's not only vibrant and green, but also brings a lot of nutrition to the table. On the fruit front, I have a fondness for oranges. Their juiciness and tanginess are refreshing. Broccoli is a great choice, 
full of vitamins and minerals. Oranges are indeed refreshing, especially with their burst of citrus flavor. Speaking of preferences, if you had to pick a few favorites, what would they be? It's a tough choice, but I'd say bananas and tomatoes are high on my list. Bananas are convenient and tomatoes are versatile for cooking. I can see why. Bananas are a quick and energizing snack, and tomatoes are like culinary chameleons. As for me, I enjoy berries like strawberries and blueberries, and cucumbers are a refreshing vegetable I like. Berries are bursting with flavor, and cucumbers are indeed crisp and hydrating. It's interesting how our taste preferences can vary. Are there any fruits or vegetables that you're not particularly fond of? For me, it's mushrooms. I'm not very keen on their earthy taste and texture. How about you? Is there any particular food you're not too fond of? I can relate. Mushrooms have a distinct flavor that might not be for everyone. For me, I'm not really a fan of okra. Its texture can be a bit slimy for my liking. What do you think of the benefits of including fruits and vegetables in our diet? Fruits and vegetables are like nature's multivitamins. They're packed with essential nutrients that keep our bodies healthy and strong. Plus, they're often low in calories and high in fiber, which is great for digestion. Exactly. They're nutrient powerhouses. The fiber in them keeps us feeling full and aids in digestion. Beyond the health benefits, do you have any favorite ways of incorporating fruits and vegetables into your meals? I enjoy making fruit salads and adding vegetables to stir fries. Creating colorful and flavorful combinations makes the meals enjoyable. How about you? Any favorite recipes or methods? I'm a fan of salads and smoothies. Salads are a great way to combine various vegetables and fruits for a satisfying meal, while smoothies offer a convenient and tasty option. When it comes to trying new fruits and vegetables, do you like experimenting with different ones? Absolutely. Exploring new flavors and textures is exciting. I've even tried dragon fruit, which was a delightful discovery. How about you? Have you ventured into trying any exotic or unfamiliar fruits and vegetables? I've tried jackfruit, which was quite interesting. The texture is unique and it can be used in both sweet and savory dishes. When it comes to sourcing fresh fruits and vegetables, have you encountered any challenges? Sometimes finding fresh produce can be a challenge, especially if it's out of season. That's why I appreciate farmer's markets. How about you? Do you have any tips for finding fresh produce? I completely agree. Farmer's markets are wonderful for fresh and local produce. Another tip is to choose fruits and vegetables that are vibrant in color and free from bruises or blemishes. Talking about favorite dishes, do you have a go-to dish that involves fruits? For me, a fruit salad with a dollop of yogurt is my favorite. It's a refreshing and balanced treat. How about you? Any favorite dishes where fruits take center stage? Fruit salad with yogurt is delightful. As for me, I enjoy adding berries to my morning oatmeal. It adds a burst of flavor and color. Lastly, when it comes to children, have you noticed any specific preferences they have for fruits and vegetables? Kids often have a sweet tooth, so they tend to favor sweeter fruits like strawberries and grapes. How about you? Have you observed any trends in children's choices when it comes to these foods? Absolutely, you're right. Kids do enjoy sweeter options. I've noticed they also like carrots because of their crunchy texture. In a broader sense, what do you think is the role of fruits in our diet? Fruits are like nature's candies. They provide natural sugars along with vitamins, making them a healthy and tasty choice for satisfying our sweet cravings.